Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen Theorycraft. Today we're going to talk about the F8 Lightning Heavy Fighter. This ship is really quite unique in the verse as CIG have basically said they're not going to be selling it out of game. You're going to have to work in game to get one. Steal one. Uh, buy one from a player that already has one. There might be a few other ways to get them like becoming super super friendly with the UEE Navy maybe and they might give you one or you buy one off them, who knows really. That's an example, but it's really likely to be pretty hard to get one of these super high-tech military fighters. Built by Anvil Aerospace for the UEE Navy, designed as the next generation super space superiority fighter, particularly with fighting Vandal in mind. It is more nimble, more heavily armed fighter craft than its F-7 predecessor. Discarding the second turret for more fixed weaponry, the Lightning is designed to take out the target that's in front of it. And it's easy to get a target in front of it. Now that it must be said that the stats and blurb that I'm using here were ones that were only very briefly available, so the ship will, might have changed, it's almost certainly going to have changed, but the spirit of the ship is basically that it's better, faster, stronger than the Super Hornet for combat. And I think that it says it discards its second turret, that that's referring to the canard turret that was on the front of the Super Hornet. So it's got two large guns instead of that canard turret there. It looks to have two TR4 engines compared to the Hornet's one engine, and 12 TR2 thrusters for manoeuvring compared to the Hornet's eight. The latest pictures of this F8 Lightning suggest that it has two size 3 weapons on its nose, a ball turret on its top, which the stats say that it's size 4, though I'd, I would expect in the new system for it to be at least a size 5 and have the option for two size 2 weapons on top. It also has four underwing weapons. From the pictures, it looks like those hard points are likely to be two size 3s and two size 2s, but don't 100% quote me on that. Even if there's a little bit of um, little bit off, then it's still a hell of a lot of weaponry on this ship. Missile wise from the pictures as well, it looks to have six size two missiles, but they could quite easily be size three. They're pretty big in that art. Now, we're only looking at the concept pictures here and everything is subject to change, but it's gonna be an incredibly powerful combat ship, whatever. Now, it's quite a large fighter and its stats say it's for one crew, but, I think, and that as it's theory craft, why not run wild? I think it's possibly going to be outfittable for two crew. It's got the size, it's, it's a large ship. You can see the, the cockpits at the front, and there's a load of room in the back. And it's got that kind of, it's got that ball turret on top, which is facing backwards in the pictures. I think that you'll be able to get a crewman in there. I think that's going to be a manned gun, or possibly another station. It might be an unmanned gun, but it might have a station that you can interact with. Now, that is pure theory craft, but it's got the potential there, definitely. And with outfitting, maybe you can. I think it's going to be seen a lot in Squadron 42. And you're very likely to be able to fly them in Squadron 42 as well. But they'll be seen much more rarely in the Persistent Universe. Though I do expect, again, they'll come out to play in high like security space. Especially against pirates and murderers. And in general, to protect UEE systems. One of the questions I have really is, are we going to be able to fly and test them before Squadron 42? Surely they need balancing and bug fixing just like any other ship. Because I certainly want to fly one in the Alpha. I swear, by those pictures, those missiles, they look size 3 to me. And those under wing guns look gimbaled, meaning that you might even be able to have pretty big fixed weapons under the wings if you wanted to change them for that. Anyway, guys, what do you think about the F8 Lightning? Is it a good idea to have a ship that you can only obtain in the verse? And it will be hard to obtain at that. Is the Lightning going to be the Alpha and the Omega of fighters? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Put your comments down below and I'll see you in the verse.